I may be able to kill Miss Freerun. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Freerun Beyond Journeys and episode 24 called Perfect Replicas. If you like Freerun Beyond Journeys and smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this and we're back again no wonder the ruins of the king's tomb oh it's a recap never mind so that's the thing right we ended it off with the replica of freerun what is this the we call the lord of the dungeon spiegel the water mirror fiend it is a monster from a mythical era that appears in eweg the sage sage's heroic tales Oh my gosh! Did I not say that? Did I not say that it's probably read Denkin's memory? Oh right, because remember we've already seen an Einsam when uh Farron saw Haita in the in the forest. Why did Sense choose this dungeon for a test? Wow. But that's what I was saying because Denken was last defeated by Freerun. Today is just crazy in general. Like I'm dealing with my dogs barking and stuff. It's anyways. We should retreat. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And I wonder what techniques um, this replica is going to be able to use. Because if, like, there might be spells that Freerun is able to do that we haven't even seen yet. Especially if it's, like, gone into Freerun's memory. Wait, what? The replica has... The Golem. Interesting stuff. Oh my gosh, he's already cut through the chest. I think maybe the replica took the Golem. It's like you die if you stop talking. Oh, okay, so I was right. Let's swipe the golem. Oh, it's wary of your sorganel. So it doesn't want to get trapped. Initially, I thought that these replicas were created by Sense because they looked very similar to the golems. Are you the real one? Interesting. Who knows? Crazy. So maybe the clone doesn't know if it's a clone or not. Damn, is she gonna fight the replica by herself? Damn, let's go, Urbel. Damn, okay. Well, we did end the last. Oh no, that, I think that was Laufen who was fighting a replica. Damn, okay, let's go. I do feel like Urbel can beat her replica though. I've always been unlucky, so I don't like luck based contests. <gasps> the neck is open. You must really want to die. Dude. Oh, what is it? Studying her. My luck always sucks. Oh, what? Looks like your luck was worse. Oh, wow. 
crazy. That was good. So, basic, the bottle was a fake. Oh, so that was the clone. Oh, I don't even know. I couldn't even keep track of that. But I know that you need to keep your eyes on someone. Oh, so it was the clone. <laughs> crazy. But you have to keep your Sorganal, for Sorganal to uh, remain active, you have to keep your eyes on them. Interesting. But that was a good play by them. Oh wow, when my death would be your fault. Damn. Oh right. Because obviously, remember the more she learns, she can empathize and then she can, you know, learn his technique. So, like, Herbal is actually very strong. Like, she basically turns people into Grimoires. What is it? Oh, a hidden room behind this wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why, but free run just makes me laugh, bro. <laughs> Maybe this is where that purple diamond was. Remember it was like behind a wall initially? Which technically means that if they can defeat that thing, all the replicas will die. Oh, maybe this is gonna give... Oh, it's gonna probably give information on that... That um, person they were talking about in the beginning. That water mage or whatever. Almost like Poseidon or something. Trap. Oh, they just turned back. Oh, they've walked into them now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just gonna get interesting. Damn. <laughs> I just said that this is getting interesting. She's not even scared. She's like, oh, I'm gonna go... Oh, a perfect replica. But she's like, I'm just gonna go fight this thing. She's gonna give her weaknesses. I'm resistant to both. Oh, method. Eh? I was wondering what her name was the whole time. You are immune to restraint. <laughs> Smells nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Freerun is the legendary mage, okay? Edel. Damn, so they literally have to figure this out. Because Freerun is that strong. Wow, on targets that have minds. Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So it did make a replica of sense. Remember, my prediction was that this guy was going to get killed. Lie. 
Layers of magic cast on its hair. We can't beat that thing. Possesses a superhuman imagination. Damn. But I bet you that the actual thing that creates the replicas is most likely going to be weak. Oh my gosh. Damn. It just uses its hair to slice right through those rocks. Oh my gosh. They have the weight of a boulder. Wow. Damn, but now we get to see how strong Sense is. Oh! Right through a chest. It has no mind. We can't beat it. Damn. That was a big shot through the chest, though. Oh. Wow. The thing that's interesting is like how strong the golem is. Like the golem is even stronger than the replica. But I mean, look, like all of them together, like you're either going to be able to beat Sense or Freerun, but I mean, can they really beat them both? Oh, and they still fighting them over here. I mean, like if all of them were to team up against one of the opponents, then I'm sure... They could do something. But like I said, my only sort of prediction is that they'll just have to beat the core. Find a way to track the replicas to the manner that it's coming from. Oh, it got tagged. But I know how to win. Oh, he dropped the whole wall on them. I may be able to kill Miss Freerun. <laughs> what? Damn. Okay. Interesting. Based off of what she just said, then maybe she's been... Because, like, think about what Freerun said. The only way you can actually beat her is through brute force. So that might be the only weakness, right? It's just to go at her completely gung-ho, like, I'm gonna destroy you. Maybe Farron thinks that she has a, a certain technique up her sleeve, or she's perhaps strengthened a certain technique of hers to a level... That's like almighty brute force, if you know what I mean. And that if they can keep the replica distracted, she'll be able to just use that technique and actually win. But very interesting to see what happens. Also kind of another hanging Chad, I guess, or a cliffhanger. We'll have to wait for the next episode. I do feel though that we are actually reaching the end of the season. I'm just, I need to double check 
to see how many episodes there there is i also don't like to do that it's kind of like a, a spoiler in its own way but i mean if i think about it that was what was that episode 24 and usually around this time you know this is where we see the end of a season so i do feel like what happens here in this test is essentially going to lead to the end of season one which is going to be interesting to see but um so far it's been absolutely insane just seeing sense with the hair you know and even what i think was Idel was saying was that you know magic is about visualization like being able to see things and being able to manipulate those things and the fact that she's got so many strands of hair that you can't see your hair essentially and being able to actually control every single strand means that she has superhuman imagination i mean that's why sense is a first class mage to begin with it's going to be interesting to see what happens also cool little bit of teamwork there between land and Urbel and how she was able to you know put him in a situation that almost revealed more of himself so that she can actually keep empathizing or will be eventually able to empathize with him and actually learn that cloning technique but anyways that's going to be it for me if you like free and beyond journeys and smash that like button follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because i'm releasing every single day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit